if I'm going to delete myself from the internet, then I wanted to at least have it on the internet, um, the, the solution that I came up with for the energy crisis, because everyone's solution right now involves um, Elon Musk basically doing a miracle, which Elon Musk, yeah, I understand where, where he's coming from, where he wants everyone to drive super fast cars, but it's not so much that he wants everyone, to, he wants to prove to everyone that you can make a super fast car with an electric battery, and is it only him? Come on, the guy's got massive amounts of money. Like, who is Elon Musk? He's a guy that wrote a database a long time ago for PayPal, and he got rich off of it because he knew all these people from Stanford. And he is like a flashy car type guy. He wants to have a Lamborghini, and so he thought, hey, we'll do electric car Lamborghinis. And do I want electric car Lamborghinis? Yes. Do I want them to drive fast like a Lamborghini? No. I just want them to look cool. Like, I want super cool looking. I want Ford Mustangs. I want Camaros. I want all. The, I want SUVs, but with super light frames that might not actually be as safe from like a collision perspective, but man, they're so lightweight that you can actually, they have high capacity, but then they have, um, but then they're, but then they get like 80 miles per gallon. Um, but more than anything, I want to get people off fuel or off, off cars altogether. And that's why I want to mass migrate people from, I, I have a plan. My plan involves part of the country stops getting food sent to it at all we don't ship to your area why because <gasps> you're in a rural area you're not a farmer and you're not a farmer that we have decided that you're essential then you're not going to get food shipped to your town so you can stay there if you want to live in the middle of whatever minnesota um that's out in the country and um every time you get fuel you're going to have to drive to one of our i'm not going to allow shipping to areas that um, are inefficient. And that's part of my plan for cutting the United States oil in half in the next, in, in my first four years as president, which can I even be president? There's a reason I'm deleting myself from the internet because it's silly, but then it's like, it's not silly because I can go look at my list of reasons I'm not crazy. And I do know that Barack Obama stole from my blog for the state of the union. And then people wrote memes about it, like how awesome he was. And it was like, yeah, I know he was awesome. That was me. Um, people always steal from me. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, and, you know, my, my presidential campaign involves a lot of things like disrupting the cybersecurity industry. And more than anything, it's using government money to do things that the American people actually get to have in their hands. Like, I will give you a lawyer that does artific is an artificial intelligence lawyer that you can consult anytime. I will give you a doctor that you can consult anytime. And you know what? It might not be the best doctor ever, but it will get better and... Um, like we will spend so much so much effort on it and um like it's just like I, the the online university like where you can take almost free online classes all the time and so bernie sanders dream of a junior college is different than mine my dream is that you can take courses and learn how to manu how to how why tesla's batteries are so much more efficient uh in cars than um regular batteries like why like why um, you can learn about genetically modifying plants. Uh, like I want like government or I want corporate secrets that are being taught in our university. Um, and the university is for everyone. It's not just for the United States. It's for everyone because I want to stop being afraid of competition in, in areas that we can save the world. Uh, but right now we're getting a patent on everything that is going to save the world so that we can't use our patents together. And I will use national security to stop that. But more than anything, I want to move people away from certain areas that are inefficient, like really cold areas. And I want to move them to the desert. And then I want to have this, okay, if it's flat reflecting at a tower, how far does it have to go? Super far. But if it's like that, how far does it have to go? Not as far like way less of a distance. And that's why I'm convinced that if we if we do it like this and we generate steam that way to you know turn a turbine, then it can be more efficient. But I also want to use the steam not just for turning a turbine, like for cooking and for like uh, elevators and for um, HVAC to cool the building and um, for maybe for pumps for hydroponic farming up here. Um, because in the top it might be colder, and so we might not even have mirrors here. We might actually have glass windows, and then it's a greenhouse up here for uh, localized farming. And I also want to have indoor skydiving, which is a, <laughs> I want to have a giant tube inside, and then there are holes in the side at the top. And so 
real indoor skydiving is skydiving like three quarters of a mile from the top and and then and then it's like indoor skydiving skydiving at the bottom where you i think it'd be cool um but uh i also want to like this is a little micro city it's it's a city full of people and um my vision of it was kind of like a miniature Jerusalem, but um, a fancier Jerusalem with glass roads and crystal streets. And the glass roads ha are, are glass bricks that have lights underneath them. So the roads glow when the steam is going. Um, and that's kind of how you know if the steam's going or not. And when the steam's going, you can take a shower. But when the steam's not going, there are no hot, warm showers. There are no warm showers available. Um, but the steam is also used for cooking. And so it's not just... We don't always have to generate electricity. We can also... Um, just use the steam like standalone because say that you have steams going through pipes and then it goes like why is this going through the pipe there's a, a, a stone on top of part of the pipe that's kind of the pipes welded into and then you can cook on it um and so we have community meals and we're we're going and we have a train and i want to have pyramids all the way in the desert from las vegas to barstow to bakersfield and then i want to have trains out in Bakersfield so that we have infrastructure built around our farms um, for transporting food. And so um, I, my, my solution for the energy crisis isn't to solve the car crisis. My solution for the energy crisis is to solve the keeping people warm, um, feeding people crisis. Uh, well, keeping people cold also. Um, and so like we have here, we have multiple pyramids and they're connected. So like maybe the middle one's an Amazon distribution center and, um, and we have conveyor belts for deliveries because there's so many people living in here. If we're, there are 50,000 people living in a pyramid because we have indoor skyscrapers um, propping up this pyramid because this pyramid is so freaking tall um, like that, um, then um, because the Luxor Hotel doesn't have to have um, – anything popping up there are no there are no columns in the middle because of the shape of this i believe these are equilateral triangles um like but if we want to build it so freaking tall or if we want to build it without like with isosceles triangles or something which is like maybe more flat um because if you if it gets too tall or too high up then is the temperature up high going to be cold um probably and that's why it might be that might be good for our intake for um, cooling this building because we're intaking from way up high um, but then we're using um, steam to pump but then um, we're also that also can make it so that we can have farms way up high um, in the top that like so the greenhouses don't get super duper duper hot um, because that's the big issue with uh, trying to have greenhouses in the middle of the desert um, so yeah as I'm Deciding that I'm done, um, like these onks were, if, if we were going to use it to desalinate water, because um, I, I think that's a good shape for desalinating water, um, but I don't know about uh, if that's really a good solution. Um, what I do know is that um, if we can consolidate overhead of HVAC, which is the air movement, the cooling, your air conditioning... Consolidating air conditioning is what I'm saying. If we can consolidate cooking effort, if we can um, figure out how to have a train system that might not run all day, it might only might only run certain times of the day, and when it does run, where does it run to? It, the, there's only one stop in the pyramid. There, this is my old philosophy on it. We have a bunch of pyramids, and in Jerusalem, in the Jerusalem pyramid, which has glass roads and crystal streets, uh, and the glass roads glow, and it's really odd how similar it is to the book of revelation when he talks about like these translucent glowing streets of gold but and everyone assumes that the streets are of gold but really it sounds almost like they're streets of glass with lights underneath them that would look super cool um so like when it when it when we get when, when, where does the train stop in the middle of jerusalem and what what's in the middle of jerusalem there's a toy shop there's got to be because because this this is about the kids this is about our survival as a species because we one day, what happens in our brains is it clicks. Oh my gosh, we're going to run out of oil in 50 years. Maybe we should use the oil to plan for running out of oil. So we should build infrastructure that is built around running out of oil. And then everyone goes, wait, that doesn't make any sense. I listen to Fox News. We're not going to run out of oil. Wait, no, actually, Fox News says global warming is fake. 
Who cares about global warming? What matters is that we're gonna, we, we will run out of oil. We have less than 50 years and like everyone being in denial about it is freaking a threat. And that's the real problem with all these politicians that all they want is to be worshiped. But I'm telling you, everyone needs to go talk to Bernie Sanders and say, where were you 50 years ago? And he'd say, well, I was 30 years old. Donald Trump, where were you 50 years ago? I was like 28 years old. I, I had already graduated from college. I was a grown man, I know. Well, since the time that you were a grown man and now, like over that period of time, that's how long we have until we run out of oil. And it, like for like for someone like me, maybe like it doesn't seem like it's that long, but man, these last 10 years have flown. Like I've been thinking back on like all that I've gone through over the decade because dude, 2010 to now, like I was living in Chicago before 2010. I haven't had a relationship for over 10 years. Like I can't believe how much my life has changed over the last 10 years. I used to think, I used to be such an optimist. And now I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm scared of the future. Um, like, ten, I, like we thought that it, we were going to be off oil in 10 years. Seriously, I'm not even joking. Back in 2008 when I graduated, I, I was taking, uh, I took environmental science back in 2006. And we were talking about oil. And everyone's going, oh, it's all right. We'll, 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 get, we'll get off oil. How? With batteries. Dude, it involves mining, man, and I need those batteries so that we can have electricity at night. Um, so, like, one of my ideas was we're going to have, like, dedicated circuits so that, like, say you have a clock that you want to stay on, and that will always have electricity, but a tiny bit of electricity because it doesn't need as much. But then the whole layout is, is organized around being able to flip those circuits and, and stop using electricity all the time in unnecessary ways and using AI to do it because I think... Like, what is a smart grid? Smart grid involves AI, but what does that mean? It's kind of creepy once you think about spying on people. But if you're doing it in here, it's not as bad because you can have dedicated networks that are like local networks that aren't, that are air gapped from, from like the general internet. Um, all right. That's my solution. Like, so as I'm deleting all my stuff and I don't even know if it's going to work because I saw on YouTube, um, yeah, like, like after I deleted all my videos the other day or just a second ago, said something like, I don't think this is actually going to work. And then there was something about like deleting your account. Um, um, maybe it will work because I, I feel like I should be able to delete my account because or delete my stuff because um, I don't want it on the Internet. And if I'm running for president, then I want to know how many people are viewing my videos and I want to know and I want to have a team so that I can consult people so that I don't look stupid all the time. Because when you're by yourself, you look stupid all the time. You don't even notice the mistakes you make. And um, yeah, I have a radical platform, but I still want a radical platform where I don't look stupid. Because um, my, my platform is saving the planet. Like cutting, like I want nobody to be able to buy a car that gets less than 30 miles per gallon unless they have a specific type of license. And they're going to have to go to a specific type of dealership, which is probably going to have to get transport they're probably gonna have to buy it over the internet um i want to like you're not allowed to drive a car that gets less than 30 miles per gallon at all in the next four years like you're gonna have to trade in that's just which means that we're gonna have to do um big time manufacturing of automobiles um i mean i i don't want to have to talk about my campaign anymore but i also like i'm just i don't i don't want to be on the internet anymore i don't want to be like who i became when I was at the Rainbow Gathering, and next thing you know, they someone comes up to me and gives me this shirt that's got a map of the gathering, and it's autographed by a hundred people, and like, I, and and everyone keeps asking me, why are you here? Why are you here? And like, I figured it out. Like, I mean, no matter what, at this point, I figured out that I'm not crazy in certain ways, and I think that I was crazy in certain ways for security reasons, um, and you know, like my entire life has revolved around others for a long time, and I, I'm ready for my life to not revolve around me, but to at least include me. Um, cause everything I've done has not been for me and, and I'm done with it. So, um, even this, is this for me? I've thought about it in 50 years. I'll be dead and I'm down to be dead when we run out of oil. Um, like I'd be perfectly fine dying at the age of 80. Um, so, um, if you guys don't want to try to solve the energy crisis for your children, um, that's fine. And I, I guess I should start thinking like you who 
it means you don't care about your children, your grand grandchildren, and, and their children. Um, all you care about is yourself, and that's why Washington, D.C. is the way it is.